In this video, we're gonna be looking at two ways that you can import your FBX files into your iClone 8 projects. I had a viewer recently reach out to me. They have assets, but they don't necessarily know how to incorporate them into their iClone 8 projects. So sometimes this stuff can be hidden in the documentation. So I just wanna showcase how easy it can be. First way that you can go about this is just go file, import, and then you can navigate to your folder where your FBX is and select open and there's our asset ready to go, ready to use. The second way is to navigate through your file explorer and then you can just drag and drop your FBX file into the iClone 8 window and it's ready to go as well. So that's two ways that you can import your FBX files and have your characters interact with them. You can see here, everything imported quite nicely. Uh, this is my male assassin that is available on the content store. So if you wanna use it for your own projects, feel free. Um, but if I wanted to animate this character, you know, jumping up and interacting with this prop, I could do that as well. Uh, the only thing that I will bring up is that sometimes with these assets, you will need to set up the custom texture maps yourself. So just navigate over to your texture panel and then you're going to have to set it up for each material name. So you can see some of the color information came through, but majority of this needs to be set up by hand. So uh, once you do that, you could save yourself some time in the future. If you plan on reusing this asset over and over again, just go ahead and save it as a uh, custom content. So let's see, we'll navigate to props right here. I have nothing set up, but here I'll hit save and we'll call it billboard. And just like that, you can see it creates a thumbnail. And so anytime in the future, I want to use that asset, boom, it's ready to go. So that's a way to save yourself some time, especially if, so you don't have to set up the texture maps each and every time. Hopefully this video helps you. Hopefully you got some information out of this and hopefully it helps you bring your projects to life a little bit quicker. So this is Eric for Libertas Video and we'll see you in the next one.